title of my presentation is Sustainable Solutions Using Biotechnological Tools. Uh, it could also have a title like all the how do we optimize uh, ancient detergent formulations to achieve a better performance using enzymes. It's basically that what I will talk about. Um, well, when it comes to challenges and sustainability, some of the things that I personally see come into my mind quickly, and which I also came into the mind of this excellent presentation I heard just before uh, lunch by Dr. Mao from BASF, BASF. That is, of course, make a sustainable uh, sound uh, detergent for household care. One of course is chemistry, because you reduce the amount of chemistry you use in a detergent, then you also will produce less toxic or uh, polluting wastewater. If you can cut down on the temperatures uh, in your in your laundry, of course there's an obvious saving in that. If if you can also increase decrease the time you're spending in the process, that is of course also a big value or something the customer really care about. Um, so there is a lot of things we can we can talk about when we talk about detergents, and I'll try to do that my very bit in the coming in the coming minutes, uh, coming half hour. I'll try my best to not exceed 30 minutes. Before uh, starting the actual presentation, please allow me just to give you a few uh, facts about Global Science. Not all of you might know it. We're an enzyme producer, so I have heard the word enzyme mentioned here several times to my pleasure. We are the undisputed world leader in uh, enzymes and, and microorganisms, industrial enzymes, that is, it's the total world market for enzymes. And uh, that market is uh, uh, about 4 billion US dollars, so it's not a small market. Um, we do both enzymes and microorganisms. We are based in Denmark. I myself in Denmark, I have spent most of my life in Denmark, as you have heard. Enzymes account for more heavy organizations. We are spending more than 14% of our revenue actually are going back into our R&D pipeline, which is significant. Uh, this is also why they hold more than 7,000 uh, patents uh, to protect our inventions. Uh, uh, we do production, we have many productions in Denmark, in USA, China, and also in India we have production. And then we have R&D centers located several sites in Europe. India, USA, uh, South America, Japan, and also China. 2011, we sold for approximately 2 billion US dollars, and we are employing more than 6,000 employees uh, worldwide here. So I'm, I'm getting slowly the uh, cost to the Indian culture. Uh, we are also in India, the largest producer of industrial enzymes. We have also here a market share of about 50%. You can see we are spreading quite uh, broadly also here in the state of which industries we are serving. Household care is here, of course, oil, energy is here, bioactive here are many. And here we are, in Nogestan, India, we are about 450 today. We are growing rapidly. We are growing. Okay, uh, last year we did a survey on the on household split at the washing machines. And then we actually realized that uh, even in China, more than half of the respondents with a washing machine actually still do 25 to 50 percent of their loan in hand. How do you obtain good washing results when you wash by hand? We have to we have to cater both the uh, hand wash and the uh, automated wash that goes forward. So let me introduce you to a something called Dr. Singer Circle. When you're using your uh, uh, research, you will still begin to see. Thinking it of rain on your tape pack, and what is that? What is it that is actually adhering to that? That is a very important question, and uh, I think uh, at least I can give some primary performance, which is basically stain removal and cleaning. Uh, but one thing that is very important to understand when you have stain, if you have soil on a tape pack, and you're dissolving, dissolving this in a, in a detergent, you will, you will take out some of the soil from the Take part. But they will not, they will actually form a new layer, they, a glue, a thin layer on your laundry, they will go slowly. So from every wash you are doing, you will actually see this building up and that's why you get the grains. Um, so that's why we have to work on something we call prevention of reposition uh, areas. Clearly indicate that something is happening here. The, the detergent is working and it is removing uh, it is removing the soil, but 
that is still quite a bit left. Now let me try to play uh, the next one uh, where we actually where we do the same, but we add also uh, active light based, which acts on a little. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. And here you can see that the, the stain, the, the fluorescent dye from the lipid is very, very clearly removed uh, in the, in the microscope. 